Let's start a new series. It'll be entitled, The Secrets of Living Freely, Powerfully, Wealthy, and in Love. I, I know it's a long title, but every single one of you, you have at least one of these things that you really, really, really want in your life. If it's the first thing, freedom. Freedom from your financial situation, freedom from your cultural expectations, freedom from your gender role expectations, freedom from your parents, freedom from the society, the politics around you, freedom from whatever it is that's expected of you or whatever it is that's nagging at you, freedom from that. How to live freely. Number two, powerfully. Let's say you already have a certain measure of freedom. Maybe you graduated. Maybe you have a good job. Maybe you have some, some finances. Maybe um, you have some freedom. But for some reason, you're not getting respect. You're not making the changes in life that you want. You're not making a dent in the world like Steve Jobs said. No one's taking you seriously. You're not making an impact in your business, in your industry, within your friends. Why aren't I powerful? How to live powerfully? Materially, financially, wealthy. That's number three. A lot of you guys think that if you have money, it'll solve most of your problems. And it's true, but the trouble is, if you use money to solve most of your problems, most of your problems will keep coming back. And you'll have to keep solving those problems using most of your money. But, since money is an issue, let's at least deal with how to live wealthy. And finally, love. We'll cap it off there. There's uh, three more levels we can go, but we'll just cap it off there for this series. How to live in a loving environment, how to live in love, how to live while in love. I don't know if you've noticed this, but each of these four, one depends on the previous one. Have you noticed that? Let me explain. In order for you to be emotionally in love, emotionally in a place where you can love, you have to have the physical requirements for that emotion. Does that sound like an oxymoron? How, how, come, how come you can't just love? What, what do you mean you have to have the physical requirements? Um, why are most weddings held in the spring? Well, because that's when women feel the most loving. It's the best season. It's the most brightest. It's the, it's the most happy, loving season. It's true. Um, if you are sick, if you're ill, it's really hard to feel love. If you're... Uh, why do most couples that were in love break up? financial reasons, money reasons, money. So material things matter, matters. You can't have love without first having the material, physical preconditions, prerequisites that support the existence of love. That does mean, yes, you got it. Love is a higher chakra higher chakra energy than material abundance is. Now, material abundance, wealth. Do you realize that you cannot have it without the previous thing? Power. Power. You can't have money. You can't have material. You can't have physical health without Power. The power to create it, the power to maintain it, the power to defend it. What does that power do? Does that power just sit there? No, 
It's active. Power is action. Power is expressed through action. So you have to have action in order to create wealth, in order to create muscles, health, the physical conditions around you. You have to have action, you have to take action to be able to create enough money to buy that penthouse apartment, to buy that car with which to pick up this beautiful woman or, or man, since women drive just as well as men do now, except in Korea. I know, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but I'm not going to edit it out since it came out of my mouth. And uh, maybe I should edit that out. Anyway, um, and if you, if you have that action, if you have an abundance of that action, you can have abundance. You can create an abundance of the material so that you can have a solid, stable foundation within which love can flourish and blossom. It's not that complex of a concept. If you want to grow lilies, if you want to grow tomatoes, guess what? The soil bed has to be right. The external conditions have to be right for that. And love, didn't some poet say that love is like a flower or something or some musician? It's very true. So love requires material conditions. It does, I'm sorry, but it does. For you romantics to think that love... Um, conquers everything and it can happen uh, when you're sick and in a dumpster, when your bill collectors are calling and uh, knocking on your door. Mm, not really. Next, material things require action. They require power and action. They really do. Uh, for for you idealistic people that think, hey, uh, for you liberals that think, no, I should just be able to sit here, not do anything, and be given a house, be given a car, be given a college education. Um, I should be given food. All this material stuff should be given to me without me taking any action whatsoever. Uh, that's what the government is for. That's not actually... Maybe the government you elected or support is there for that reason but you elected them that is action without that action you wouldn't be able to get that free food that free college tuition i'm not saying that's good or bad i'm just saying that the universe doesn't work to give you material things without you putting in the action first and what about the action action can only come when its prerequisite is filled first. What's the most active thing in the universe? What was its prerequisite condition? What had to exist first before it existed? The most active thing in the universe, yeah, you can ask any physicist, is energy itself. Energy itself, it travels through space, left and right, up and down. It travels through space faster than light. Light travels through space at light speed, sometimes faster. What is the prerequisite for that action? It's a trick question because the answer is inside the question itself. It's a space itself. Without space, you wouldn't be able to take any action. Think about it. Without space, you'd be... Right? There's no action you can take. There's nowhere to move. It's the same thing with light. It can't travel through space without space. So, what do you need to be powerful? You need the space within which to act. What does that mean? What are the things that are constricting your ability to act? If you're younger, is it your parents saying, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. If you're 
a little older? Is it your society? Hey, you should go to get a job. You can't be single after 35 years old. You have to uh, drive this and you have to do that. And you can't invent this and startups are dead. And They're in. lies our title. The secrets to freedom, power, wealth, and love. Let's get started in the next episode.